Oh my gosh, I've been away a while. It's your box office news. Hello, I'm Daniel Kay, and uh, I was rehearsing for a musical which uh, opened this weekend, and uh, it ate up all my free time. But now, I'm back. Mostly. I feel as though I'm not fully recovered from opening weekend, which is why I'm just sitting here instead of doing the green screen, etc. Anyway, uh, this last weekend at the box office, now that it's August and summer, things are um, you know starting to go south. Um, I saw a lot of movies over the time I was gone. I'm, I'm, I'm stalling because there's really only one new movie in the top ten, and it's at number ten which is uh, an indication that the studios uh, have pretty much given up and uh, they're already planning uh, their big movies for Thanksgiving and um, Christmas. So, whatever you see now... Eh. Anyway, Bullet Train is out right now. It made uh, 13 million this week and 54 million so far. It came in at number one. Uh, Top Gun Maverick uh, made 7 million, but it's made 673 million since we opened, so... And, uh, let's see, nope, saw it and loved it. It's only made a hundred million so far because it's a little bit esoteric, I think, for people. And, uh, what else do you want to know about? Oh, the new movie, Fall, coming in at number 10 from Lionsgate Pictures. Um, I will say this, I made a 2.5 million, looks like a, um, a good premise, and I understand that it was an independent movie that Lionsgate picked up, so... The only way they ruined this one is by um, machine language dubbing the um, most of the dirty words out of it um, so that they could give it a wide release. So I don't know. Fall looks like fun if um, you want to spend um, 90 minutes worried that somebody's going to fall. Yeah. Uh, what else I saw? The movie I saw this last weekend was Mac and Rita. And I'll just say this, 90% um, of the movies that are made are never released. And within 10 minutes of that movie, I started wondering, why couldn't this have been like them? Enough said. Okay, so that's uh, your top 10 and my movie review. Now, moving on to the bottom of the chart, coming in at number 54, um, uh, from Kino Lorber, it's Alma's Rainbow. I didn't uh, do any pre-show research, so yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, it made $301 on three screens or 100 per. Fine. Uh, coming in at number 50 in its opening week, also from Kino Lorber, is Bloom Up. And I feel like um, I owe you guys... Well, first of all, it made uh, $871. Um, in his first week. Uh, I owe you this capsule description, which is um, provided as are all the figures by the good people at Box Office Mojo. Bloom up. Hermes and Betta are a middle-aged Italian couple who run the neighborhood pet store by day and organize extravagant sexual encounters with multiple partners by night. I'm guessing it's foreign. All right, that's it. That's all of the box office news you need or want. I'm going to stop now. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'll be back again next week, and uh, I'll have my sea legs again. We'll see if I actually set things up. In the meantime, bye for now, and go to the movies. They need you badly.